It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's weekly Torah lesson. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah portion. This week's Torah portion is Parashas Kiseitze. The question of the week is, why do you have to disconnect in order to connect? So in this week's Torah portion, Parashas Kiseitze, we learn about the laws of divorce. And what's interesting is that in order to get divorced, you have to get married first. But how do we know how to get married? We know how we get married through the laws of divorce. For example, there's three ways to marry someone. Money, intimacy, and through a contract. All three ideas, money we learn from Kiikach, which says by divorce, Uvala, which, which intimacy we know from the divorce in divorce, and the Yatsa Vahaisa, we learn that you have to have a contract. Not only that in the Torah, but even in the Talmud, the tractate of divorce comes before the tractate of marriage. And the question is, why is that? And the answer is, you see clearly, that the Torah set up the world that in order to move forward, in order to do whatever we want to do, we have to create an empty space first. Once we create the empty space first, now we have room to create something new. So the answer to the question, why do we have to disconnect in order to connect? Because God made it so that in order to create new energy, you have to create first a disconnect, an empty space. And once you have the empty space, then you can grow even stronger and stronger. This week's Torah lesson is in memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Torah lesson. For more information, please see our website.